Hello. Today we'll solve a fun puzzle about two number friends, X and Y. When we add them together, we get 6. And when we multiply them together, we get 36. Let's find what numbers X and Y could be. Let's try some numbers that add up to 6 and see what happens when we multiply them. First, let's try 1 plus 5 equals 6. But 1 times 5 equals 5, not 36. Let's try 2 plus 4 equals 6. But 2 times 4 equals 8, not 36. How about 3 plus 3 equals 6? 3 times 3 equals 9, still not 36. Let's try to understand this visually. Imagine we have two bars that add up to 6. These represent our numbers x and y. Now, when we multiply x and y, it's like making a rectangle where x is the length and y is the width. This rectangle needs to have an area of 36. Here's why this is tricky. When two numbers add up to six, their biggest possible product is when they're equal, both three. But three times three is only nine. We need 36, which is way bigger than nine. It's impossible to find two real numbers that work. So what's the answer? Well, our number friends must be using some magic math. The actual answer involves special numbers called imaginary numbers, which you'll learn about later in math. But for now, just remember, sometimes in math, what seems simple can lead to surprising and magical discoveries. Let's solve this problem using two different methods, algebraic and geometric. First, let's look at the algebraic method using the quadratic formula. Let's start with method one, the algebraic solution. First, we let x and y be roots of the quadratic equation t squared minus x plus y, t plus xy equals zero. Now we can substitute our known values x plus y equals 6, and xy equals 36. This gives us t squared minus 6t plus 36 equals 0. To solve this, we'll use the quadratic formula, t equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. Plugging in our values, we get t equals 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 108, all over 2. Simplifying the square root of negative 108, we get 6 plus or minus 6 i root 3, all over 2, which simplifies to 3 plus or minus 3 i root 3. Now let's look at method 2, the geometric solution. First, we can rewrite x plus y equals 6 as y equals 6 minus x. Then substitute this into xy equals 36. Expanding this gives us x squared minus 6x plus 36 equals 0, which is the same quadratic we found using method 1. Let's visualize this geometrically. We have a line x plus y equals 6 and a hyperbola xy equals 36. These curves don't intersect in the real plane, which explains why we got complex solutions. Therefore, our solution is x equals 3 plus 3i root 3 and y equals 3 minus 3i root 3. These complex conjugate solutions satisfy both our original equations.